I'm Dieter Singer. I'm the Chief of Arms and Ordnance at the U.S. Army Center of Military History at Fort Belvoir, Virginia. What I'm wearing is basically what airborne paratroopers wore on D-Day on June 6, 1944. Starting at the top is my M1C paratrooper helmet with burlap which breaks up the shape and contour of the shell. This has a unique chin strap which was only used by airborne troopers. Next is the uniform itself. That's the model 1942 herringbone twill made out of cotton. And it had reinforced knees and elbows as well as the pockets on the edges because it wasn't very durable. Aside from that, I'm wearing on top of everything, which would also go on top of the parachute and reserve chute, which is the Army Air Corps life preserver vest. This was worn as airborne troopers were crossing the English Channel. Once they got on the ground, they would ditch the chute, ditch the life jacket as well, and typically cut off a piece of the chute and wear it as a scarf. Moving down further, I'm wearing two Mark II fragmentation grenades, as well as a flashlight here on my right side, and I've got a airborne first aid kit. That had your morphine, a tourniquet, as well as some dressings, and a small Carlisle bandage. On this side here, I've got a lensetic compass, which was very effective, obviously, figuring out which way you need to go. And since airborne troopers were jumping in the dark, on the wrist, you carried a wrist compass with a luminescent pointer. On my left side here, I've got my assault gas mask. Now this was a rubberized carrier, which only the airborne troops received uh, to keep it dry. On my right side, and on my back, I've got my 43 collapsing entrenching tool. Underneath this, I'm wearing my 10 pocket cartridge belt, which could hold 80 rounds, as well as a bandolier with another 46 rounds. And on my right leg, I've got the M3 leg knife, which I could use to cut the risers of a, of a parachute or basically slit somebody's throat. And on my back, I've got the Musette bag and a letdown rope in case I got caught in a tree. To see these artifacts or any from World War II, go to an Army museum and check out our website at www.history.army.mil.